Today we are going over six whiskeys that I call the forgotten because they don't get talked about a lot and we're gonna give them a little bit of shine. I'm excited, let's get into it, let's go! Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me. Dun, 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 dun. Here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video and checking out the channel. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for all the support. We are getting closer and closer to that 2,500 subscriber goal. And I only have you guys to thank because you know, you keep subscribing and I truly appreciate that. You know how we do, we're gonna party. So if you're not yet subscribed, hook it up. Please subscribe, cause that will really, really help me out. And you know, you'll become part of the uh, team uh, and join us for the celebration. So hook it up, that will really help out. Well, what are we doing today? We are going over six whiskeys that I deem the forgotten, right? Um, these are those whiskeys that normally don't get on lists people don't talk about too much in videos um, if you see a review from them it's probably from when a new batch or when they first came out but other than that they don't get talked about a lot and i want to give them a little bit of shine because these are all great whiskeys and probably some that you should consider if you're out there looking for something new that maybe is not the normal like Buffalo Trace, uh, Wild Turkey, yada, 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 right? It's, they're good ones, but again, they don't get talked about a lot. So wanted to give them some shine. We're gonna get started, there's only six, so I'm trying to do this video fairly quickly. But first, you guys know I got into a inaugural cheer. So I've been drinking a little bit, so yeah, it's a little low, but this is one of them here, so let's go, cheers. That is whew, perfect. I mean, it just is. And yes, it is one of the ones on this list. And actually, it's the first one that we're going to talk about because it's right here in front of me. This is... I'm trying to catch my breath because that was so freaking good. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, this is Knob Creek 12. Guys, if you have not tasted this, shut off this video. No, 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 no. Go through the whole video, then go <laughs> to a liquor store and try to find this. In my area, they bring them in and out, you know, they're not, I don't see them throughout the whole year, um, but I see them every couple of months. So this is such a good one. And I know if any of them here get talked about the most, it's probably this one, because this one does get brought up fairly, I don't even want to say that often, but it, it does get brought up more than every one of these. But it still gets missed on a lot of lists. I've missed it myself. I, I have it in the back and I know why I put it there so I kind of baby it because it's my last bottle of it. But still, it is such an amazing bourbon that I don't know why not more people are talking about it. So if you see this around, definitely pick one up. And if you've tasted this already, then you know what I'm talking about. So in my area, this one has been put into the glass shelf at all these small liquor stores. Everybody is like allocated this and allocated that about it. It gets priced up very high and I just don't understand, but we're talking about old Ezra 7. Yeah, so I kind of get it because in my area, you don't see them that much. A lot of these you don't see too much, right? But you do see them. I mean, it's, it just depends on the time of the year, right? So right now I can go down to my local Total Wine and pick one up from the shelf, right? But then I can also go to my local um, uh, small mom and pop liquor store and they'll have it behind the shelf and probably tagged on another hundred dollars on top of the regular MSRP price, which is crazy. So why wouldn't I just go back to Total Wine and buy it there? I don't know. 
But, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why they believe that it's like allocated. But I get it. If you're gonna hold on to it until you can't get it anymore, I guess, maybe it's worth something. But either way, a person like me, I would just wait till they come back on the shelves again. But enough about that. This is freaking good. This is 117 proof, aged seven years, and it is so good. If you haven't had um, Ezra Brooks, um, they're really good. I love their um, their total wine picks that I get here. But this old Ezra 7 is fantastic. So go and pick one up. There's a lot of boo rice, right? But this one actually has it in the name, right? And we are talking about High West Distilleries Burai, right? With the cool little, uh, I don't even know what that is. Is that like a jackrabbit with like deer antlers on it? I don't know, but it looks like a cool animal that I would like to meet and probably run away from because I don't know if he'll charge you with those antlers. But this is so good, guys. Burai is obviously bourbon and rye mixed together sometimes. In the case of this one, it's a few different straight whiskey. So, I mean, what is a straight whiskey? It's American whiskey, uh, rice, single malts, bourbons, right? So they mix them all together. But this thing is really good, especially if you like blue rice. Is it as good as Lost Monarch from Redwood Empire? I don't know, I have to make a video of it. But as it stands right here, it is amazing. So I would definitely pick one up if you see one in your area. But yeah, I mean, in, in my area, they only come come in like once a year and you're lucky if you get one right i was able to be lucky to get that one but i have seen them every now and then like for the last year or two um so i have had other chances to get one but they're just hard to get right so right place right time i guess it is the next one that we're going to talk about is not sold in my area i actually had to get it in Texas, or you can try to buy it online, I guess, but you'll be paying a pretty penny. And we're talking about Peerless Double Oat. This kind of threw me off when I first tasted it because if you look at it, it is dark, guys. It is a double oak. You guys know I love my double oak and my toasted bourbons, but uh, it really threw me off when I poured it in the Glencairn um, because it's so dark, but it is so freaking good. I mean, I, I just can't say enough things about it. It's 109.1 proof. If you have not tasted it, I would say go out and try to get one. I had to go to another state to get one, but once I saw it there, I knew I had to bring it back because these are really good. One that probably nobody or not a lot of people have heard about is this next one, which is Tumbling Dice. Now, this is Deadwood Presents Tumbling Dice, but it's actually from Proof and Wood, and it is distilled in Indiana um, and bottled by Proof and Wood Ventures in Barstown, Kentucky. Now, this is their heavy uh, rye mash bill, um, and I'm not just talking about this one because I have another one that's not that's a low rye over here, and it is really good. I actually got introduced to this in my local liquor store, shout out to Primo Liquors, back in South Florida, and since I've tasted this, I was like, wow, this is really freaking good. But obviously, you guys know it's still in Indiana, so you can kind of guess where that is from, but that doesn't take away the fact that it is good. So if you see this in your area, 40, 50 bucks, it's not a bad buy, especially if you're looking for something different. Lastly, the big boy, because this one's gonna cost you a little bit. I've seen it in my area anywhere from $100, well, no, maybe $105, to maybe $200, depending on where you go, right? But usually I see it around that $115 to $130 range. And it is one that, I think it gets missed out a lot on when it gets compared to other ones of this, I guess, same company, of other offerings for this company. And we are talking about Joseph Magnus Murray Hill Club. This is good, guys. This is really freaking good. I gotta tell you guys that when I found this and I tasted it, um, the Joseph Magnus by itself is really good. So shout out to Nancy Fraley because she's the one that's involved with these. So Joseph Magnus is really good. Um, but obviously you hear about the Joseph Magnus one and then obviously you hear about the cigar blend. 
And I can tell you that as I was chasing Scar Blend, I found one of these, because these recently, I wanna say in the last year and a half, got released in my area where I can find them a lot. Like right now I can go out and find one at, at most stores, right? I can find one at my ABC Liquors and I can find one at Total Wine, which are the big box stores, right? And again, at pretty good prices. So this is a blend of bourbon whiskey blend is what it says and it's paying homage to its prohibition um, era. Let me see how much it is in terms of proof. Yeah, it doesn't tell me the proof, does it? Oh, maybe here. Oh, it's a only 103 proof, right? But it is good, guys. I would suggest, I would suggest, it is my suggestion, that if you cannot find a cigar blend, right, but you still want to kind of know what Joseph Magnus is about, you can always get the regular offering, the Joseph Magnus, but if you don't want all that like Armagnac, Cognac thing, and you just want to pick up a good bourbon whiskey blend, this, this is really good. And yeah, you need a taste it and probably buy one, especially if you can't get a cigar blend. Well guys, that is the list. Hope I brought a little bit of shine to these six. We're gonna do this again, but there's some other ones that I wanna talk about as well. But for now, these are the six that I wanted to talk about. Let me know, comment below, are there any that you would give some shine to that you don't think gets talked about a lot either? Um, are there ones that I've missed that you would have put instead of some of these first? Let me know. Comment below. Love talking back and forth with you guys. Please do me the favor, like or dislike this video. Either way, it helps out. Please subscribe because that would really, really help out and I would truly appreciate it. I'm going to pour myself a little bit more of this um, Mob Creek 12 and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Cheers.